What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video here on my channel. I'm super happy because today is part two of my trip down memory lane, which is where I go through some of my videos from the past that I've uploaded on my channel and I kind of share my thoughts. And by doing this video, the last one was longer than I thought. This one here, I don't think it's going to be as long, but it really shows, how do I put this into words? It really shows my evolution on my channel, my growth of where I was whenever I started and I was just a gaming channel to where I am today and trying to make the content I am today. And if I didn't make the videos I did back then, I likely wouldn't be where I am at today with my channel. So we're just going to get right into this leaving off where I ended the last one. Let's get started. Okay, so like I said, we are right where we left off with the last one. So we're just going to continue from there. So this is back. Oh, I forgot about this. Until dawn, I started to do those videos. And like I was saying in the last video, I started to make videos, like this is a gaming episode series, of games that I did not enjoy. Until dawn is not a game for me. I did not enjoy it. I don't like horror anything horror related I'm not a fan of so this game kind of sucked for me but I made the video anyways uh, the video series and it didn't work out on my channel and it made me really realize to start only making videos that I really want to make that I'm really excited for and really enjoy doing because your fans catch on they realize you don't enjoy, you're not enjoying doing this and they likely won't come back um, more GTA 5 stuff, more WWE pay-per-view predictions, more UFC stuff. I really, I know it's pretty re re repetitive, me showing you this, but this was what I enjoyed doing back then. I loved doing this stuff. I loved sharing my thoughts, my predictions on certain fights and that. And, uh, it was pretty interesting. This one here is my, oh, my first game review. I completely forgot about this. So this is the first review video I did on my channel. This for is for a game, I'm gonna mispronounce it, I think it's French, called Deme Toi. And the game creator on a Facebook page said they created the game, they want people to make review videos on it. So I play the game, the game's not good, but the fact that I got a code to be able to put in my PS4 and create the game I was extremely excited for it. So that was the first thing I've ever received for my channel. And it was very interesting. Assassin's Creed. This is the first. This is for uh, Freedom Cry. This is the first Assassin's Creed game I ever played. And I think it was after Blackpool. Good news about this one is. It was so good. The story was so amazing. It was very interesting that I went and purchased on the PS4 when it became on sale. Uh. Assassin's Creed Blackpool, so, or sorry, Black Flag. What was I saying? Blackpool? No, Assassin's Creed Black Flag. I have yet to play it, but it is on my PS4 and I'm going to be playing it very soon, hopefully. But yeah, you guys can see what I really enjoyed playing back then. This one here is one I didn't even realize it was that, that many views. It's called Until Dawn, Episode 8, Sex in the Woods. Now I'm going to tell you why it's at 321 views. The title, Sex in the Woods. There's a lot of perverts on YouTube. I've noticed currently these past three months, every month it is getting about 50 views. And with how YouTube is now with their newest updates, with their new studio beta, you can actually go and see what is causing these views. So whenever I went into that part of it, it's people typing in Google sex in the woods and phrases like that and my videos popping up so people are watching my video to me that is crazy but it's very interesting and they're watching it in full they're watching the entire video they're not just watching the beginning of it so they're looking for something pervish and they're watching my gameplay for this part it's very interesting i, I wasn't expecting that but it's at 321 views that's not too bad my 500th video I think this one is just me talking, saying thank you. I think that's all I did for that one because nobody was getting on that that, that at that time. So I wanted to make that video kind of thanking people. Uh, my first Life is Strange one. So 
I started to do that series for Life is Strange. That series would have taken me so long just because there's so many little things that I was stopping and noticing for a video series on my channel. It wasn't working out. I eventually, after the 10th episode, I want to say, I stopped playing the game for a while. And then I picked, picked up late, or sorry, mid-2018. I finished the game, platinum the game. And the game was a lot of fun. But my series on it was not the greatest, if that makes sense. Uh, some more Assassin's Creed stuff. Just Cause 3, the first episodes here. Doing stuff like that, for me, was a lot of fun. But it stopped getting the views, so I stopped the series, if that made sense. I continued playing the games on my own, which made the games a lot more fun for me. But I just stopped making the episodes. GTA 5 Sumo was one of my favorite game modes. It still is pretty high. Um, hopefully I will get back on maybe with Jack someday and we'll play some of those old adversary modes, but a lot of fun. Um, my for another card build one. This is for my Tempesta, Tempesta, I can't pronounce it, but my Lambo. Really love that car in the game. Um, some more Transformers stuff. I think this is when I just started to upload certain fights against certain people, certain Decepticons, I think. Um, pretty interesting. More Battlefield highlights. This is, oh, this is the first, is there more highlights before this that I missed? So this is when I started to pick up my highlight videos. I'd go and I'd edit them. This is before Share Factory. So I literally had to trim every piece together. And then I'd go and I'd put them in, I can't remember what program it was on the PS4 before Share Factory, but I put them in that and I'd come with, come out with these videos. So it's very interesting. Foo Fighters, oh, I forgot I did this one. Gold and Concrete Review. This one here is whenever the album first dropped. Those two songs were the first songs that were revealed. It was very interesting, but because it was copyrighted stuff and I didn't know how copyright worked back then, I changed the tempo so they sound really fast. Don't know why I did that. The video wasn't the greatest. Uh, it was a learning experience, and I don't even think I shared a review of it. I think I just played the two songs in full and did that. So, not the greatest video I've ever done. It'd be on the low end, but it was kind of clickbait-ish to get people to watch it, but it only got 21 views, so. This is when I started. Okay, so we're getting closer to today. So, this is the first video I made on the channel like this. This is back with my fourth gen iPod doing a hockey card video with Tim Hortons hockey cards for that year. And I was recording my audio on my laptop because my PlayStation 4 didn't record, or my PlayStation 4, my uh, iPod didn't record the greatest audio. The video wise wasn't the greatest. This is my first unboxing video. Best part about this one, finding this one here right now, I have since, or sorry, I have recently made a React video to this video. And I think I've uploaded it within the last month or so. It was very interesting. Uh, looking back at it, I had to edit it because it was 15 minutes long. So I had to trim it down to the best parts and reacted to it. And it is pretty cringy, I will say that. Go and check out my reaction video. But yeah, this was the start when I started doing hockey card videos, which is me... This is the first, this is when I started to get into hockey cards, get into any sort of collecting. Was a lot of fun. I still can't pronounce names, but back then I was really terrible at it. And you guys, if you guys were into hockey cards and you watched those videos back then, you guys freaking let me know every time I mispronounce something. Some were ruthless, some people were very ruthless. But this is also around the time I started to make custom thumbnails here and there. Of course, as you can see, Fallout, I started making my custom thumbnails for it, but certain videos I just didn't. Um, I just didn't, I didn't want to, um, didn't know what I would make, so I just left the gameplay thumbnail that is generic from your PS4 that it comes across. This is my first comic book video. Maybe I'll make a video reacting to that, but then again, the quality-wise of the video, because I was using my iPod back then, wasn't the greatest, but it would make an interesting video. Happy Halloween, I don't think that was very interesting at all, that one. I think I was just saying Happy Halloween, and it had a GTA 5 clip to it, not Halloween related at all. Guardians of the Galaxy, I think 
I might re-record this one because this is back with my fourth gen iPod. I have issue 1 through 25 for Guardians of the Galaxy for the comic books. I might share that again in the future. My first Flea Market Finds video, I think this is just hockey cards as well. Pretty sure it's just hockey cards. Um, more comic books. So I'm starting to, at this point, I'm starting to find what I really want to do on YouTube. Um, I did my Flanders Fields video where I sang the poem Flanders Fields. <laughs> it was pretty interesting. It was... I just had the poem. I was at work. I recorded this really quick in the uh, change room. So pretty interesting. But still, you guys can see this is where I started to really think of what I wanted to do on my channel. And I started to do, to do little tests. So I started to do more hockey card videos. I started I'm, my first taste test video. My new games that I got that year for Black Friday. This year, Black Friday sucked for me here in Canada. Uh, my first trophy video that I remember doing. My gift set for uh, Walmart for the uh, Connor McDavid figure that came with the game that year. Um, everything was really interesting. I started to do trophies a lot more. What else here? Yeah, trophy. Another trophy. So I started to do trophies, hockey card videos. My plans for the holidays. I think this is the video where I said I'm not going to be making any videos for the next two weeks. And I didn't. I was still uploading, as you can see. But I was not recording anything. I took two weeks off and it was the best decision I made. And I'm likely going to do it again this year. I think this video is going to be after Christmas I upload this one. Part one's going to be up, but not this one. My Wicked Audio review. Now, I'm a huge fan of Wicked Audio. Always have been. Best audio in my opinion. Very cheap price. Now they have a limited uh, lifetime warranty. Back when I uploaded this, no views, all hate. Now, every month for the past couple months, it's been at least 20 to 50 views. So I'm really happy with how it's going. Hoping it continues. My first Christmas present. This is the Canadian Tire Employee Christmas box I got last year. I'm glad I don't work there anymore. Uh, my bloopers clip. Now, this one here, back when I made it, was really funny. Now, if you watch it, it might be cringy. That's what I've been told by Jack, at least. Uh, I started more South Park. I stopped doing that because that series because it felt like I was doing it just for I don't know just for the video and it the game wasn't fun for me so whenever I stopped doing the video series the game became so much more fun and I actually went and finished the game it was a lot of fun my first munch pack video they had a deal that year I think this was December last year a lot of fun sharing my CD collection I think this is my entire collection or my top I'm not sure. I might have to double check and watch that one. Um, I also forgot to mention, where is it here? My first story time. So I started doing weekly story times. But I started to make them whereas it was just me trying to come up and think. Everything in these was authentic. But I was trying to really push story times and wasn't really giving all the best stories all the time. So that's why I had to end doing it a series that way. More games like that. More... Uh, figures, more hockey cards, more collecting, 10 things about me, um, my review for 2017 that PlayStation sends out to people every year, my top 10 video games played last year, so many things I started to do, my Spider-Man collection, uh, reading all this was really fun for me to do back in the day, reading my old raps, cringe, was just how it sounds. It was me on my fourth gen iPod looking through, seeing all of the old raps that I wrote back in high school before I started making beats. And they were super cringy. So I did it for a video and it was a lot of fun. I think I did another one again in the future. I'll try to find it. I'll show you here in a second. My retro gaming series, the start of it. I am returning it very soon, but this is the first one I did. That was actually pretty cool. The thumbnail is so much better, in my opinion, than what I have now for my series. But uh, the truth about Chester Bennington. That's when I share a lot more of the details of what actually happened with his death. I recommend checking it out. I don't want to go into detail with that. More Pac-Man. Uh, Pac more Munch Pack videos. More taste tests. More retro gaming. Collecting videos. This is when I started to really push 
what I want to do here on YouTube, what I really enjoy doing. Um, Geek Fuel Unboxing, the new policy for YouTube, with which back then is whenever you needed a thousand subs and 4,000 watch hours. Whenever it first was announced that that's the new policy, I made a video about that. My greatest beats, me sharing why sub for sub is bad, different things like that, who I want to face KSI next. So as you can see, my focus is on making videos that I want to make, getting out messages that I want to share, sharing my life with you guys. My first vlog video, my first vlog ever, uh, which I'm going to be ending very soon, but I really enjoyed doing Kit Kat taste test was a hell of an experience for me, why I started collecting. So it was a lot of fun back then. Uh, Canada... Canada's minimum wage increase. This video, I share why it was bad. In my opinion, being in retail, working minimum wage, how it affected me and why it was very negative to do. This is the first Munch Pack video that they actually gave me my own code for people to use. Uh, what, how I came up with the name Takedown, my first Fortnite video, which I'm proud of. That last year's Hall of Fame class for the WWE. So I'm sharing, I'm really proud of this. This part in my channel, which was just, I want to say this was, uh, out, as you can see, eight months ago as I'm recording this. This is when I started to be really proud of myself and see the progression that I've come. I've come a long way from being just a gaming YouTube channel. Now I'm making videos I really enjoy making. So I'm able to sit here and talk more about them my WrestleMania predictions, how I plan and record my videos, how I come up with my ideas, stuff like that, more vlogs, uh, who I thought was going to win between Mayweather and McGregor if they went in a UFC fight. I'm really proud of myself. This is the Stanley Cup playoffs round one. I shared my predictions of what was going to happen. I think I did it again here whenever the first round was done. I did it for the second round, third round, and then the finals. The Greatest Royal Rumble predictions. This is when I started to make videos like this, sharing my predictions for a pay-per-view. I'd have the match cards in front of me and I'd share, I think this one's going to win, this one's going to win, and why I think they're going to win. Instead of me just making the gameplay matches, this started to do way better for me. Flea Market Find videos, that's the first one I've ever done. Actually, I think I've done some before, but this is the first time I put it into a series. This is back, this one is very meaningful for me. This is back whenever I stopped drinking Coca-Cola or any kind of soft drink I, at the time. Stopped drinking it for one month, but it is currently, I wanna say six, no, eight, eight to nine months ago when I stopped drinking Pepsi and I felt a lot better. I feel a lot healthier and I'm happy that I made that decision. Talking about EB Games, more loot crates, the finals for the Stanley Cup, I'm really proud of all of these, to be honest. PS4 at the end of its life cycle, that is because PS4 announced some stuff back then. My story times got a lot better. This is my worst manager story. Andrew replacement at work. This is very special for me because this is the first video on my channel that has gotten over a thousand views. This one here is something that happened at work and I had to tell the story. It was so very interesting and uh, it was awesome. This is whenever I quit my job. Uh, I explained why I quit my job because work was cutting my hours. Little Nightmares, favorite game of last year in my opinion. I started to do my jerky taste test videos. As you can see, everything is custom thumbnails too. Um, Chester Bennington, this is the one year since he has passed away. This was very meaningful for me. Very emotional in this video. My first React video, whenever I started to bring them back and make more interesting React videos, uh, where the React channels, kids try foods, they try the Canadian foods, work in the audio sh auto shop, movie trailers, and everything else is my evolution on YouTube. I should have done a video like this where I talk and share my evolution. Uh, this is just two months ago now, so this is when I started to do my top rappers. This is when the Eminem and MGK beef started to happen. My first conspiracy videos, Flat Earth, um, and my Flat Earth prank, some more stuff, Telltale Games closing, Toronto, stuff about the news that is happening I wanted to bring on my channel, which I started to do, and a lot more stuff like that. 
I'm really proud of everything I've done here on my channel. Going through and looking at everything to even the last video I did at the time as I'm recording this, which is my second conspiracy video where the moon landing's fake. Moon landing's fake. I've come a long way. I really enjoy what I'm doing. I really like the direction I'm going. By me sitting here scrolling through everything I've ever uploaded on my channel, I am really happy with the direction I've I'm going, the progress I've had, everything, how my videos are so much better, how I've actually, it is apparent to me I'm making videos that I enjoy making, which is the whole purpose of my channel, which is really what I wanted to do in the first place. And I'm really happy that by me going back and looking at all these, it feels like it's come true, if that makes any sense. I am currently making videos that I want to make. I'm not focused on views. I'm definitely not focused on making money because my videos are not making any money. I'm just making videos mainly for me and that is the best feeling in the world. So I am going to leave this video here. I am going to see you guys in the next one. This was longer than the first part. I am sorry, but I, you must remember I have over 900 videos on my channel and I wanted to see my whole evolution. So that's what we did today. So I'm going to leave this video here. Hope you guys did enjoy. Sorry it was so long. If you're still here, thank you. Leave, the, leave a like if you did enjoy this video or the last one. Let me know. Please take care. Peace.